My name is Max, I'm the Cellar Master here at Grand Teton Brewing. I'm Tyler, I'm the Logistics and Warehouse Manager here at Grand Teton Brewing Company. We have uh, our newest cellar reserve, the Sheep Eater Scotch Ale. We have uh, brought, this, uh, brought the Sheep Eater back this year um, as it is uh, our most requested cellar reserve and for very good reason. It's really a, a, a well-crafted beer, well-brewed. Um, it's going to cellar great. It's going to be a great beer to, to buy a couple of, put away in your, in your private beer cellar, you know, treat it like wine, and it'll age real well. Yeah, a lot smoother than a lot of other scotch ales on the market today. Uh, and it's going to be a fantastic beer for, uh, for a cold night come fall. Max, you want to tell us a little bit more about what kind of style this is and how we brewed it? Traditional Scottish style ale. Uh, we brewed it with our two row barley as well as uh, some biscuit malt, some crystal malts. Um, we use about one and a half percent peat smoked malt, which I pick up very subtly. A little bit of the smoke also help, well, it's, gonna, it's gonna help it age mm -hmm. cellar well. Uh, traditionally, the Scottish ales, uh, hops don't grow very well in Scotland. So our Scottish ale right now coming in at about 20 IBUs. So it's gonna be very light with mm -hmm. the hops. But we wanted to use something that would be available in Scotland. So we're going to go ahead and use those UK hops rather than stronger uh, Pacific Northwest varieties. Which gives it a really clean bitterness, allowing that malt definitely to come through. I get a lot of really beautiful biscuity, roasted chocolate, and that smoke I think is very lingering in the back of the palate. Very drinkable, very, very warming. Velvety smooth, it pours with a nice Nice head, definitely lingers in the glass, definitely laces it nicely. We use a Scotch Ale yeast. That yeast is also a very poor fermenter. It's, it doesn't attenuate as well as our house strain of yeast. That attenuation means it doesn't consume all of the sugars in it. So I think we achieved somewhere in the 60% attenuation range, which means the beer still has that full-bodied mouthfeel. One, as Tyler alluded to, it's going to cellar really well. It still has a lot of really great malts and sugars in it. Uh, that smoke malt is a preservative. You think about how people have smoked fish and, and other meats. It, it allows for uh, aging very well. But that yeast has allowed it to, to maintain a lot of its sugar and a lot of its flavor profiles instead of drying the beer out, um, which I am very pleased with how it, how it turned out in, in that way. It did exactly what we wanted it to. Um, it didn't attenuate a lot. What would you pair this with? Uh, when I'm drinking this, I'm definitely thinking of shorter days, longer nights, chillier. Hunting season comes mm -hmm. to mind. Any any sort of nice red meat, I think would go really well. Potatoes come to mind, mm -hmm. but this is Idaho. A lot of root veggies. Hearty meals, and uh, it's a hearty beer. Can stand up next to them. As a cook, I really am excited to start using this in some of those dishes. I yeah, think it'll really add without really taking away from the base characteristics of this beer. Mm -hmm. I think it'll just really amplify like this. any sort of wild game, uh, red meat, lamb, mm -hmm. sounds really good. The beer that I, I agree, I think it's a really fun beer to, to cook with and, and pair, especially as hunting season comes around, which I'm definitely excited for. One of the other things I get to play around with the brewery is I, I manage our barrel aging program, and I'm very excited uh, to potentially get this into some, some oak. Tyler will allow us to, to get some more barrels and throw it in his warehouse. Um, but I think it would do really well in oak. Um, I think that sweetness um, would definitely uh, allow for some of the, the more tannins that you find in, in oak and in wine. Um, it would definitely help this beer even become more complex. You know, once we get it into the barrels, and Max, I think that we'll be able to do that <laughs> in the future, uh, look for it as part of a new brewer series and we'll put this back into bottles after we've aged it in the barrels. Mm -hmm. buy, buy many. Buy many. Put, drink one right away. Save as many as, for as long as you can and mm -hmm. enjoy in the future for sure. Absolutely. I'm actually told that it's Nessie's favorite beer. <laughs>